Happy birthday, Suzanne! Happy birthday! Yay! So today's your birthday and we want to wish you a very happy birthday from the UK and we hope to see you soon, don't we? She does. She misses you. Hi, Suzanne! Hi. So, okay, this is our first vlog and we decided we'd do this because we get to message you a lot but we don't actually ever get to Skype. And hopefully we still will be able to Skype, but in the meantime, we're going to give you this vlog, which is a video blog entry. So we're going to try and do these ones every week, maybe every two weeks, see how we get on. So, what have we done this week? Well, I went for my first run, which was pretty horrendous. Um, I went with good intentions, but I didn't get very far. But you've got to start somewhere. I did get a little bit of pelvic pain, but I think that was just because it was my first time. Um, so that was exciting and the start of the, the new running regime, hopefully. Um, we've also started Lily on her sort of mini routine. So I've told you a bit about this already, but basically we've we've started giving her a bath around half six, seven o'clock, half seven, depending what's going on, um, which she loves. She's in the big bath now, which uh, I'm sure you'll get to see soon. And then uh, I generally feed her if she hasn't already had the feed and then we'll put her to bed in our room upstairs with all the lights off. Um, she'll generally go down quite quickly because she's quite sleepy after her bath and feed. And then we'll, um, we'll set up the camera and we'll come downstairs. Tom's usually making dinner or we've got dinner ready. And then we'll sit downstairs on our own eating and watching TV, which is very strange after having a couple of months of, you know, having Lily around in the night. But uh, it's nice because I get to spend time with Tom, a bit of adult time. But, uh, yeah, it's it's strange. So as I've shown you on, on Messenger a couple of times, we've got our little our little video player. And um, if, if she stirs, we go up and settle her. And then, then yeah, we just see how it goes. Um, and then we go up to bed, usually around between 10 and 11. And at first she was waking up around then and having a feed and then going back down, which was great because it meant that we got asleep till about five or six o'clock. The last few, well, the last week really, she hasn't been, she's been sleeping through until about between 12 and two o'clock, uh, waking up for a feed then and then hopefully going back down. But as you're more than aware, we've had the uh, reflux constipation problems, so that hasn't been going to quite to plan but we'll get back there I'm sure but it's nice to have a bit of an evening routine and it's definitely nice to know that you know we've got an hour or two to ourselves at night um, so it just makes things a bit easier to organize and a bit of downtime um Lily had her jabs so I'll try not to make this a complete like Lily update but I know that's what you're really interested in so I'll keep going Lily had her jabs uh which was which was a strange experience having to hold hold her while strange nurse Rose came and jabbed her three times and she screamed a lot but um she she got over it pretty quickly I think it's more traumatic for me but her leg did all swell up at night and she definitely had a couple of off days which combined with all her you know refluxy constipation has just meant that we've been a bit upside down this week but she's had them now and her next ones will be probably um in the next week or two I've heard that they 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 can be quite bad as well, so we'll just see how that goes. But it's good to know that she's you know she's she's vaccinated against everything. I keep looking down here because I've got a little things that I've been writing this week to to uh, speak to you about, so I don't forget. So as I go along each day and I, th I think of something, I, I put it on my phone. So that's why I keep glancing down. I haven't developed the twitch. Um. Oh yeah, we um we did a footprint in in the class, so that was quite was fun. We did our first sort of baby activity because in the classes so far we basically just sit there while the, the older kids who are sort of anywhere from four, five, six months upwards and they're a bit more active. They all sit around playing, having great fun while we and Lily generally sit there. If she's not asleep, she's feeding. So it it was nice to actually take part in something, and we did a paint footprint. So that was very cute and. Um, yeah, it's a nice thing to do. Um, we also went to the zoo this week. Well, actually, uh, we've been to the zoo twice now since becoming members. Rich got us a really good membership deal and we decided to go for that because it's, it's it's a nice place to go. It's somewhere I can go when Tom's in work and it's somewhere we can go together on his days off. So 
the animals are just sort of a bonus to it, really, because you get to have a nice walk around. It was a lovely day, so the other day, so we sat out and had our picnic. Although we were pretty much attacked by ducks the entire time, which was quite bizarre. So we're sitting there looking at giraffes, and all of a sudden, three, you know, English normal ducks are coming in and pecking us and being a pain. I, it's fair to say, I got a little bit freaked out. Um, Tom did remind me that I used to work on a farm, but it, it wasn't the same. But yeah, we had a lovely day. Lily was not asleep for all of it this time, so that was good. You can probably hear her in the background there. She's um, she's just having a bit of a play. But um, yeah, I'd, I'll go see to her now. Um, oh, we've also been playing the piano to Lily, so that's been nice. She's been uh, she's been enjoying that. Let, just wait there a sec. Okay, so I'm back now with a guest. Um, here she is. She's very inquisitive at the moment. I think even more so since you were here, she's literally changing by the day. Um, getting stronger, which is good. Um, and having a lot more awake time, which is good, but um, a bit more difficult when trying to do things. She's having a good old laugh here at the moment. I think she finds it quite funny that I'm just looking into a computer and speaking. So that's quite great. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's having a lot more awake time. Today we've been to the doctors because we put her back on the Gaviscon because she was so sicky and screaming with it. But, is that spit? <laughs> but it meant that she was really constipated again. So after a couple of good days on the Gaviscon, it just um, it built up and she carried on being sick and the constipation was unbearable. So we took her off that. That's Auntie Suzanne, isn't it? So she's saying hello to you. She's talking a lot more now. Every time you talk, she talks back. And she does this amazing <laughs> noise. Yeah. Hi, Auntie Suzanne. We miss you. And um, so we went to the doctor today and we saw Dr. Benson. And that's the, the new doctor. Oh, nearly kicked that off my knee. And he was great. He was really good. He's a paediatrician himself or used to work in the paediatric ward. Um, so we, we knew exactly what, what, what we were going through and um, we told him all about the Gaviscon problems and he said, straight away said oh yeah you know that's no good and we told him that we'd been told by a dietitian to go for the ranitidine I think it's called um, so he, he gave her a full examination felt her stomach went, went over everything said that she looks great doesn't she um, you know her weight's great the weight gain's far but if she said if there's any uh, weight loss or weight plateauing that would be, you know, that's the, the trouble but because she hasn't then that's, that's fab um, and he went to, pre to prescribe us the ranitidine uh, but it came up on the computer that it wasn't licensed for under three year old children so he said it was a bit odd because he had prescribed that in the past when he was on the paediatric ward and that is something they use so he's going to uh, ring the consultant today, uh, ask him if you know if the licensing has changed or uh, if there's any alternatives, and then he's going to give us a ring back. So hopefully we'll have a happy baby soon. She is generally happy. I think she might have pooped again. She, now she's off the Gavis gone. She is pooping again, which is great. But this morning we had our first throwaway incident. Uh, there was a huge explosion, and I just looked, and there was orange filling the area over her baby grow. Uh, I took the baby grow off and it was down in the feet, it was round their toes, so we just had to throw it away. Luckily it wasn't a special one, um, but that was quite fun. <laughs> but it was nice because she hadn't pooed for three days, so she's definitely a bit happier now, having um, got rid of that. Um, oh yeah, so the uh, the doctor's going to give us a ring back later. But he did say that it's quite possible the consultant will see that she's been putting on weight and say... Just have to wait it out. Just have to let her grow and um, and let her grow out of it. He said, even though it's hard to see them in pain, they won't actually remember it. And it's harder for us. So we'll just have to see what he says. But we have got a very sicky baby at the moment. But quite a quite a happy sicky baby. So can't have it all, can we? No. So I don't think there's all that much other news really. We've been to see mum and dad this morning. Dad's not great, but he is better than the last few weeks. So drawing on the positives. Um, mum's okay. She's just being amazing as usual. 
which they've gone to the physio this afternoon and then I think we are going to go and see Nanny Palmer with Mum because she's off to Scotland on Saturday. So we're going to go down there. Um, and then Tom should be home and then we can carry on with our evening routine. <coughs> oh, I think that's a cue for us to go. So we're going to say goodbye and we're going to say happy birthday again. Happy birthday. And we miss you and we'll see you soon. And hopefully we'll be actually Skyping today. Whether I'll get this to you on your birthday or whether it'll be after, I don't know. But happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. And we're very jealous of Stush in the Bush. And we'd like you to send us some um, Stush produce back, please. And we'll send you some produce. And hello to Mike. Lots of love. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.